see, they are, see, they are discussing, and uh, the fact that recently Etihad, uh, Ejet sold uh, their slots in London and leased them back means something positive is going on there. And we, we just to make sure that things go well, we are thinking, we are uh, considering the JET's request for code sharing with Etihad positively. And uh, Abu Dhabi, the traffic rights on both sides are almost uh, fulfilled. So we are going to start talks with Abu Dhabi about giving more traffic rights. <laughs> See, let me, let me just point out uh, when you, you mentioned that. See, last year uh, we were flying about uh, one lakh passengers uh, to Gulf countries and Singapore uh, this year. Now we granted 81,000 more seats. We didn't grant any seats to any foreign carrier. We granted 81,000 seats to Indian carriers. And uh, now we have about the, we are, match, we are matching the foreign carriers. So now the time has to come to talk to them and increase the traffic rights. I'd like to mention one more thing. A lot of newspapers have been writing that uh, this uh, Air Asia and Tata JV, how much time it will take. And see, it's, uh, they have the procedure is they have to get a no objection certificate. Any scheduled or non-scheduled operator from the ministry where they will check that uh, the Home Ministry will also check the director's background and everything. And we will check that they have the adequate uh, capital requirements are there, two-third directors are Indian. Then once they get NOC, they will go to DGC to get the operator's permit. And I'd like to assure you that a lot of information and data is needed naturally because safety is a very big concern in this sector. Engineers, what their background, how many pilots they have, uh, what are their plans? Do they have the hangars? Do they have the airport slots and not? But if so, a lot of data is needed. But this, if this JV provides timely data and data required, correct data, there'll be no delay from the aviation ministry or DGCA in making this JV operational as soon as possible. See, they have not yet given a feasible and credible plan to the DGCA. They want to start it, and we also want to see any, any company in any sector, once it shuts down, there are a lot of problems. Employees' problems, uh, their assets are tied up, a lot of collateral damage happens. So we would want them to start, but see, in this, unless they give a credible plan that they can restart with safety, and with uh, enough financial depth to maintain that schedule, DGCA will not consider it. So they said they are planning, but that uh, detailed plan is, has not been submitted yet.